Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and I'm about to leave Niagara Falls, been here for a few days, done so much eating, I'm kind of sick of eating, but I had to stop at one more place. We are at Frontier Barbecue and Smokehouse for an all-you-can-eat barbecue dinner. They have brisket, ribs, chicken, all that good stuff, so let's head on in and see what we can do. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are going to eat food. Can you believe it? It's so strange. No, seriously. Uh, so today we are at Frontier Barbecue and Smokehouse in Niagara Falls. So I was in Niagara Falls, I uh, was here for my conference weekend, I was about to leave and I was like, you know, I had sushi, I had some rhodesia which was delicious, I wanted to look for some barbecue. So I was looking at barbecue restaurants and I found this one online. I had never heard of it before, and I didn't really know what to expect, but the reviews were pretty solid. I think they were somewhere around like a 4.1 or a 4.3. So I figured, hey, well, let's go try it out. I had, well, I didn't really have much hesitation, but I did use caution, as this meal was sitting at $35, plus taxes and tip and everything. So it was very expensive. However, I was really hoping that it was going to be good and I would get my money's worth out of it. The truth of the matter is, see, we started with my first plate. There was some pork ribs there. We had some of the brisket. Um, I also tried just a couple of their little uh, vegetable salads kinds of thing. One, one was like a bean salad um, and then the other one was kind of like a carrot salad. And so right off the bat from this first plate, I was not overly impressed but I was hoping that there would be better to come. I also had a beef rib, a very, very, very small beef rib at the beginning here. And same as that, just the flavors seemed kind of off on the meat. Not to mention they had a sauce on the pork ribs which really tasted, I don't know how to put it, just very, very not great. So I wanted to try a couple more options um, on this second plate. So I tried the pulled pork. I got some of the vegetables, which, I mean, it literally looks like they just took them out of a bag, like a frozen bag, and put them somewhere. So the pulled pork that I just tried wasn't bad. I tried some of their sausage here, which really wasn't great. Uh, new addition, as compared to last time, I decided to try some of their fried chicken. Then again, I have the beef ribs, and then brisket. So trying the fried chicken, I was like, it can't be that bad. Um, it was hot, which is a good positive, but again, just kind of this, I don't know how to describe it, like either lacking flavor or just weird flavor. 
So I decided to rely on Mr. Ketchup because ketchup makes everything better, and it definitely did help and make the chicken at least palatable. But at this point, I really started to adapt to the idea or like the conclusion that it really tasted like absolutely everything was frozen. Like it really did taste as if all these items came in frozen and they basically just reheated them. Now the crazy thing is it seems so deceiving because these items look delicious. This brisket in fact is probably, I'm going to almost go as far to say the only item that I was like ha in, you know, enjoying at a level of more than 5 out of 10. The brisket was pretty good. However, they had very, very either like random sauces or like a poor choice of barbecue sauce um, pretty much for all the items as I tried a number of them in those little black cups, not to mention on some of the foods, and I really couldn't find a barbecue sauce that I liked. And I really cannot believe I'm saying this because barbecue is my absolute favorite food. I did not even desire like, you know, incredibly good barbecue. I've had some incredible barbecue. But this was just so mediocre, so f like just really just fair. Having this second beef rib, I was like, come on, this got to be good. However, this beef rib and the other one as well, it was very, very, very tough, which is like not supposed to happen. You know, you want that fall off the bone action. You can see, you know, how much I'm struggling with this rib. It's just, it's tough. The flavors aren't great. Um, and at this point, I was really coming to the conclusion that, yeah, this is not going to be the best experience. And... I really just decided I'm just gonna go really easy then just have a couple items try to make it feel like I got my money's worth but I mean it just wasn't great and I can't believe it because barbecue is my favorite like yeah So on this plate here, I tried the pork ribs again, which were a lot more tender um, than the pork the, than the beef ribs. Um, so these pork ribs, the texture was great, but just their flavor again. Just I don't know if it was the sauce they were putting on them, or they just tasted really like kind of gamey or kind of like old. I decided to try some of their chili here, um, which really tasted like it came out of a can. I did try the beans uh, earlier on my first plate, and the beans weren't bad. Just very 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 heavy reliance on like a barbecue sauce um, rather than just like flavors and spices in general but I'll give the beans the beans weren't bad I'll give them that um, again the pork rib I don't know why just this taste something about it was just odd um, even with the sauces without the sauces but anyway got some more vegetables because they tasted like vegetables at least also got a few fruit items they had just some very standard kind of fruit salad um, and then the brisket again, which to this point, and I think in total, honestly, was by far the best tasting meat. And really the only thing that I was like at all finding reasonable. Like I said, I don't know, just everything kind of tasted frozen. And coming into the next plate, brisket again. Um, I also got another piece of fried chicken. I got a little piece of what they're calling a meatloaf, which really didn't look that appetizing, but I decided I'd try it. Some more of the kind of vegetable, I believe they were referring it to something like a Mexican salad or something, like with the corn tomatoes. There's that meatloaf. Um, and then I also tried a couple of the little desserts, which were undoubtedly store-bought and or frozen. Um, which were the Nanaimo bars. The Nanaimo bars are a Canadian dessert which originated in uh, British Columbia in an area called Nanaimo, believe it or not. And then they also had these little uh, kind of cake uh, pecan 
tart butter like butter tart squares kind of like kind of like a butter tart but in a square version if that makes sense i'm sure there's a better name for it it's just slipping me at the moment um again went to that brisket the brisket was tasting pretty good but i was still lacking something that was like amazing or really good it was just all so fair at this point uh, and Again, I mean, coming out of there at forty plus dollars after tax and a little bit of a tip, it just didn't leave a very good taste in my mouth. I guess you could say that I just tried with some kind of like a apple crumble, kind of like an apple pie filling, apple pie thingy thing, which was tasted like it came out of a can. This square I actually kind of liked, uh, at least the top of it. It was it was good. It was like very visibly store-bought, but it was pretty good. And then the Nanaimo bars, as I mentioned, which is kind of like a custard with a chocolate layer on top. And then the base is kind of like a compressed chocolate and supposed to be like coconut and nut base, um, which these just tasted, again, so store-bought, so generic. Really wasn't that great. Like, you know, and again, I'm just being very honest, being very objective. So I closed it off with which undoubtedly couldn't go wrong with again that vegetable salad a little bit more fruit and then those little uh, date squares or butter squares or whatever they are so with that everybody that pretty much concludes my time at frontier in niagara falls so now let's go to a rating first off staff or like service i'm gonna give it a five out of ten the gentleman came around every once in a while, but I'm often out of water. The staff up at the counter, although they were quite pleasant, um, they just didn't have any extra touch. But solid 5 out of 10 for service. When it comes to food and taste, I am going to give this a 2 out of 10. It really was not great. It was not worth the money. I've had better food and better barbecue at a casino um, so really I mean not great value I'm giving it again I'm gonna say a 2 out of 10 which I think is maybe even a little bit more generous than I should be especially cuz drinks weren't included it was 40 bucks you you saw literally everything they had to offer and although there was a little bit of variety there wasn't all that much and it all tasted not great so overall we're giving the place a 2 out of 10 and that thanks for watching